I present to you today something that has exactly the same functionality as what I did yesterday with the awesome GUI, but this time it just uses Vim to edit. Why didn't I think of this first? Anyway, let me show you how it works. All right, so first of all, here's the uh, the repo, of course, some simple instructions, installation instructions, but I'll just give you a quick-ass demo. Hell yeah. Once you've downloaded the uh, script, you just run it. There we are. I'll show you the simple way. There's uh, more in the readme about how you can specify the different models on the command line. Um, the uh, Let me just go through it. So yeah, you can specify different models on the command line. So it still uses the same technology. It still uses Whisper, um, Open APIs, Open API, Open AIs, Whisper. Um, Large is the most accurate, but by default it uses um, Medium. You can specify outputs and stuff, um, yada yada. By default you type in the video and then it outputs it in the current directory. But that's something really cool. You can drag and drop it. So I'm going to use exactly the same demo as yesterday. So I found the exact same videos yesterday, so I just drag and drop it. There we go. Press enter. And then it loads the Whisper model. This takes a while, which is why the other script took so long to run at first. Transcribes the audio. Well, here we go, look, I'm just in my editor here. So it uses your actual, um, uses this variable. Um, so if you want to edit it in anything, you just, uh, you know, before you run the command, do editor equals nano uh, to change it. There we go. So what shall we delete? We'll delete the silence, as usual. Uh, you can delete words and you can, there, there's the instructions, you can read them, you're clever. So let's say, Let's have the first word be hello gamers. We'll delete right. Hello gamers, this is a test video. Let's just see if that works. Now, there'll be some artifacts here because I've deleted inside a sentence, so it works better if you delete whole sentences. So if I just delete that bit I said, um, that would be good. And let me, uh, I'm going to screenshot this so we can get a better idea of what we're actually saying. Then you just save and exit the file. Then it detects exactly what you've done down to the word, that's kind of difficult, you have to do all really weird diffs, and now we have the, the file here. So let me play that file. Um, so this is the script that we sort of expect. Hello gamers, this is a weird test video, as you can see. Okay, so you, you heard there was a weird artifact there. Hello gamers, this is a weird test video. So it cut the first word off already. Hello gamers, this is a weird test video, as you So we deleted wizard test video, but it's still got the like what of wizard so you have to manually go and fix that in your editing software which i admit is not great but um i'm looking at solutions for that hello gamers this is let's see if the silence video. is removed as you can see there was a portion of silence and now this next for the video will be removed and chopped out from it I'm... wow amazing boom okay i admit there were some weird artifacts there i will fix those but i just wanted to show you this is a work in progress and i am also very sorry that I even considered making a JavaScript application. Oh my word. <sighs> so yeah, I'm going to try and improve the uh, the artifact generation, but still it's not like, you know, that is a very short script. This video that I'm going to edit now is a long, long ass one. And it's going to save me so much time just chopping down the text, you know? So um, yeah, it saves some time. And now you get to use Vim. Brilliant instead of my web UI, which does look very pretty. Um, but yeah, there it is, fellas. Just wanted to update you. Use whichever one you prefer, I guess. This one is cooler. Oh, yes, sorry. They're written in Python because Open, AP, Open AI, so Whisper is a Python library. So you have to install it anyway. So I thought, why not just use Python? Anyway, anyway, uh, goodbye.